Hey guys, Anthony here with an overview of Visme, which is a cloud-based all-in-one visual content platform. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the key features of Visme. So let me first log into my Visme account. This is a premium account, so it may look a bit different if you have a free Visme plan. In this section is where you'll see all your projects. When you first log in, you'll see this blank project. And once you start creating your projects, they will be listed down here. You can choose a grid view, which is what you see, or use the list view, which can be pretty handy as well. If you click this arrow button, you will see various options to edit, preview, share, etc. Similarly, in the grid view, if you click this hamburger icon, you will see the same options. You can use the My Folders section to create and organize your projects. If you have the premium plan, you can create a team by adding team members to collaborate and share projects. You can also track analytics for the projects you publish and share. I will be creating separate Visme tutorials to cover specific features in more detail. In the Accounts section in the top right corner, you can manage profile settings like your password, notifications, billing, etc. You can also manage your branding in the bottom left corner where you can set up your brand fonts, colors, templates, logos, and web properties. Click the Create New button to start creating a project and it'll bring you to this templates page where you can choose the type of project. You can create presentations, infographics, ebooks, newsletters, reports, etc. under documents, flyers, posters, menus, etc. under printables, different types of online banners under web graphics, social media graphics, as well as create your own custom designs from scratch. Let's go back to the presentations and I'll choose the modern templates option. And here is where you start building your presentation. You will see a sample slide and you can delete it by clicking the gear icon and choosing delete. So you essentially start with a blank canvas. Click the add slide button and you'll see this templates library with various categories. I'll choose a title slide. As you can see, there are many professionally designed slide templates. I'll go with this one and it'll be added to the slide deck. I'll click the add slide button again and this time I'll choose an agenda category. I'll go with this one right here and add it to the deck. So I've gone ahead and added a few more slides using the same process. Then you can go back and edit each slide. For example, change the text in this title slide like so, as well as change the background image by choosing one from the media library like so. You can also change the font, color, etc. And under the More options, you can apply animations, transitions, and other effects. Once you're done making your changes, you can preview, share, and download your project. Your projects are automatically saved, though you can also use the Save button. You can also use these tabs here to manually add individual elements to your presentation but essentially use the same process when creating infographics or ebooks and newsletters, web and social media graphics, and any other type of visual content that you create in Visme. You can try Visme for free. Check the link in the description section. And like I said earlier, I will be creating separate tutorials in which I go in-depth step-by-step. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.